Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I have got a very special video. In today's video we're going to be checking out this all new Lux HD F7 50 amp all in one and this is on that AIO hype and this board right here is a true AIO. It's an all-in-one and what it is is it's a flight controller, ESE, PDB, everything all-in-one board and right now those are hot. They are coming out and they are getting better. They are getting cheaper. They are getting stronger and I am excited. Let's check this out. Oh, oh. All right, pilots, I am so excited because right now is the AIO hype, and that is where they are taking the bigger boards that are for the bigger drones, and they are making them very similar to the Whoop drones, where we have ESC, flight controller, PDB, everything all on one board, and everybody's doing it. Most recently, you might remember, I did a review on the iFlight Beast board, and that was an all-in-one board with everything on it and it was just absolutely amazing it was fun to build it was easy to put together wiring what wiring I mean it's like it's all in one everything's ready to go so they came out with another board which was an f7 board and then newbie drone which I've got a hot review on that I'll link the video for you I even built that one I'll link the video to that too where they put everything all on one board f7 strong ESC 45 55 65 amps whatever you need all on one board Talk about amazing, and I just absolutely love it. The one thing that is the downfall with any of these types of boards, if you fry it, you fry it all. You're going to have to check out the Drain Man's electronics troubleshooting videos to try to get yourself out of trouble because it's an expensive board, and when it goes down, it sucks. So what we've got here is an even more competitive board. This board is coming in at $90, not even a hundred bucks. And the other boards are plus a hundred. I'm talking 120, 130, $140. Not this one. This one's 90 bucks and all of the specs are lining up. All right. So here's what you got. 90 bucks out the door. You've got this sweet little case right here. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what comes inside. This is the Lux HD AIO 50 amp 32 F7 2 to 6 S. Now there is a little bit of contradiction because on the website it does tell us that it's 2 to 8 S, but here on the package it's saying 2 to 6 S, but 2 to 8 S. All right, so let's go ahead and see what comes inside. So you open up your case and you've got your package right here and uh, by all means, this is not a little board. Holy macaroni. Look at the size of this thing. This is a big board, but that's not a bad thing. If you've got the space in the build, this is what you want because the bigger it is, the more current it's going to be able to handle. Not always true, but if built right, the bigger it is, the more current, the more power, the more working space you have, I mean, it's a plus. So let's see what comes inside. So you've got a plug right here, and I can recognize this right away. This is a DJI plug by Board Adapter. So that's pretty sweet. If you're gonna run DJI, like some of us do, you're gonna be able to just plug and play. All right, what else do we have inside? We've got a capacitor, okay, right there, and then you've got all of your mounting stuff. You've got some grommets, you've got white and black grommets, you've got stack screws, and then you've got uh, nylon nuts and nylon spacers, so that's pretty sweet. Now, I will tell you there's nothing else inside. I mean, you're getting a lot of board for 90 bucks, but, Usually when you're buying an ESC, you're getting a red and a black with an XT60. That way you can wire it up and put it on the board. But what I'll do is I'll put a link for you because they sell them just like this. You get two for three bucks, two for five bucks, whatever it is. It's not a big deal. You just want to make sure that you throw one in your cart when you're purchasing the board. So let's go ahead and open that up. Boom. And then inside of our package, we've got this monster 
beautiful work of art. Holy mega roly. So the very, very, very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another flight controller and I'm going to put it side by side so you can see the difference. Look at that. All right. That is a beefy board. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a four in one. Let me find one here somewhere. And I'm going to put a four in one next to this so you can see that this is a beefy board. Now, if I go ahead and do this number here, because that's what it's equivalent to, uh -huh. now go ahead and say my name, because now that big old board ain't so big after all, is it? All right, so one of the first things I've got is right here, I've got a type C instead of the micro USB, and that's nice. It's nice that they're doing that. Right here, you've got one plug connection, and that's all you need to go with the one plug that they gave you, and it's literally, watch this. Boom, you plug that in, and then that, that end right there goes into your DJI Air unit, and this thing is wired. All you need at that point is to connect your, gr your ground and your positive, put a capacitor on here, and then if you have additional things that you need to wire, maybe you are running Tracer with DJI, maybe you are running Crossfire with DJI, go ahead and wire that up. If you're not, you may be done. You solder up your motors, put on your XT60, and, and, and I mean, you're done. You... <laughs> Go fly, because <laughs> that's it. Now, let's just say you want to run this board and you are not a DJI pilot. I mean, that's fucking great. That's great. Doesn't matter at all. Go ahead and wire up your XT60, solder up your motors, and then right here is all of the wiring that you need to be able to connect your VTX, your camera, and your receiver. Get in the sky. Let's go. We're going to start right here in the top right. We already discussed that on this side, you've got your USB-C. Then right here under it, which is kind of nice how they tuck that up underneath right there. What you've got is you've got two LEDs. And the one on the left is going to be your status LED. That's this little guy right here. And then the one on the right is going to be your power LED. And what I want to do is I'm going to power up my power supply. If you don't have one, I've got a full video on how to make your own. Super awesome. Every drone pilot should have a power supply, but let's go ahead and power this up so I can show you the LEDs. And what we want to do is we want to find ground. I'm going to connect it and then we want to go ahead and find power and I'm going to connect it. So there you go. You've got your status LED blinking blue and you've got your power LED solid red. Let's us know that the board is working, powered up and great. Okay. All right, so let's dive into the pins themselves. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but let's cover the ground. So if you're about to wire this up or you're interested in wiring this up, what you've got up here is you've got two ground pads stacked right on top of each other. Then you've got two five volt pads stacked on top of each other. I mean, already that's great. I've got options. Right here, you've got TX1 and then you've got an LED and that is a true LED pad right here. And what that means is, is that means you can wire to that and control, jump into beta flight and set up your LEDs. If you don't know how to do that, I've got a full video walking you through everything you need to know about LEDs. Go ahead and check that video out. I'll put it down in the video description. All right, the next thing we've got up here is we've got another ground right next to that and then you've got your buzzer plus and buzzer minus. So if you're going to connect a beeper, you'll do that right here. Now, if we continue on right here, you've got your V power and what that is is that is a 10 volt pad now originally if you're using this plug right here that is what's connecting to your dji that is what is giving a nice clean filtered current over to your dji because dji cannot handle 6s and this board can if you're running a vista still just just give it the 10 volts it'll be fine if you're running a vista it's not a big deal this wire is super long pick the length that you need cut the wire like that boom boom and then go ahead and wire these up to their respective pads and you'll be all set all right moving right along it says vtx right here and what that is is that is your video out so if you're gonna uh wire up a vtx and you need to get your video out that is how you'll do it underneath that is a tx4 and to the right is an rx4 and you can use that for whatever you want but that is your uart4 now next to that you've got your ground and then you've got your v power another 10 volt pad <laughs> 
So go ahead and use that for your camera because most cameras can take up to like 36 volts. So you have a nice, clean, filtered power pad for your camera. How nice is that? Then next to that, you've got a CC that always stands for camera control. That is if you want to wire and your camera has the capability, you wire your camera to that pad and then from your radio, you can actually start to control a lot of your settings, all types of settings inside of the camera. Lots of fun. If you like playing with that stuff, dive in, check it out. All right, to the right of that, it says cam. So obviously that is gonna be your video in. So when you're using a FPV system, you have video in, filtered through the board, OSD, and then back out of the board. And if you are curious, yes sir, right here is your Betaflight OSD. A lot of times with these DJI friendly boards, you're losing your OSD, not on this one. All right, lastly for our solderable pads, You've got a full UART right here, UART 3, full UART right here, and that's UART 6, and there you go. That is your pads. All right, so to go over the board anatomy just a bit, I'm sure you've already caught on, but this is your motor soldering pads, and beautifully enough, you can only solder them from this side. So if you solder them all up and flip this over, they'll be hidden nice and neat. If you wanna keep them up top, you can, and all your pads are accessible, wh whatever you wanna do. The only pads you're gonna be able to reach from both sides is gonna be your power pad. You can solder on here, or you can solder on here, whatever you prefer. All right, so moving along, to our actual components what you're going to notice here is you've got a nice rail of mosfets on each side then right here in the center you've got your gate drivers and you've got your f4 microcontrollers we've got some large filter capacitors right here a couple more mosfets and then right here this is going to be your current sensor aka shunt resistor now down here i'm seeing a little bit of uh, voltage regulators which makes sense because we've got a lot of that on board if i flip it over look at that man this board is just beautiful blown away all right on this side Betaflight OSD F7 microcontroller on board flash. Are you kidding me? On board flash, 128 megabytes of on board flash. Wow. All right, so right here, right next to your F7 microcontroller, you've got a couple pads right here, and this one and this one is gonna be your boot zero. And if you notice, I flipped the board on this side, I flipped the board on this side. Are you seeing a boot button? I'm not. Do you need a boot button? Not really. You can just jump into beta flight, head down to the CLI, BL, and now you're in the bootloader. Plus there's other ways to get inside of there, but I will tell you that if you need to force into boot, right here they've broken out the two pads, just bridge these two pads and force yourself into bootloader. Right next to that is your SCL and your SDA pads. That'll be your I2C connections you know, if needed for anything like that. All right, this is super impressive. I'm just overly impressed. It's not too crazy. It's very simplistic. It's very, very nice. And you've got everything on board ready to rock and roll. All right, pilot. So what it is about this board that I'm absolutely loving is the price point. And when I line this board up next to the others that I reviewed, the Beast, the Newbie Drone Infinity, when I line this board up, I mean, on paper, it's doing the same thing for a lot less money. I mean, we're talking from filtering to uh, all-in-one simplicity, regulators. This board is pumping the juice. It is not falling short in any department as opposed to these other boards that are 40, 60, 80, $100 more than this board. I'm loving it. I am super excited. I can't wait to wire this up and get it into a build. Let me know if you're interested in a build video. We'll build this and we'll fly it. We'll see how it does. Let me know if you're interested. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.